Real quick before we get started, if you like these videos and you want to see them before they go up on YouTube, head over to Library. It's an awesome decentralized alternative to YouTube and I love it. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite lovable content creator, Gardner. Well, uh, Linux market share has hit an all-time high. Uh, what do you guys think about this? <laughs> So net market share, which is a website that reports on net market share, go figure, uh, is reporting that uh, Linux market share has increased for the fourth consecutive month in a row. Speculation abounds as to why this might be the case, uh, but there are some relatively good hypotheses out there. The one that I think is most interesting is the fact that people are working from home now and uh, office computers are very frequently required to run Windows. Uh, I, you'd be hard pressed to go into an office and find anybody running Linux who isn't in the IT department, or even if they are in the IT department. But I don't think there's just one reason for this. I mean, I think that this is something that we're going to continue to see. You'd be surprised how many people out there are actually fans of Linux. I mean, I went to a, a, a wedding. I did a, like, I was doing the videography for a wedding. One of the kitchen staff, one of the guys who was doing the catering, recognized me and was like, hey, I like your channel. Linux appeals to a lot of people, not just tech nerds, not just neckbeards, but like normal everyday people. Like some people just want to mod their computer and put Linux on it. And I think that's awesome. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that we've seen a lot of positivity towards Linux in the mainstream press. I mean, Forbes magazine is constantly talking about and singing the praises of Linux. And that is just a truly awesome thing to witness. And even like influential YouTube channels like Linus Tech Tips talk about Linux all the time now. I, I have become a huge fan of Linus Tech Tips and uh, the fact that they talk about Linux makes me incredibly happy. I mean, it always fills my heart with joy to see people talking about Linux. I just love it. A another factor could be that uh, Apple just announced that the Mac is moving to ARM architecture. That's a big deal. Uh, and the fact that people, reviewers have got their hands on early betas of, of Mac OS Big Sur, and it has received a heap of criticism. Just an absolute deluge of criticism. I think some people might find that to be somewhat uh, outlandish to suggest that these announcements by Apple um, have anything to do with Linux market share. Uh, just a few years ago, uh, before the new Mac Pro was announced, th they were still stuck with the with that problematic uh, garbage can design for the Mac Pro. Apple had their WWDC or something like that, failed to announce a new Mac Pro, and a, a Linux OEM, not going to say who, I don't know if they even want me to tell you this, told me that they saw insane demand after that WWDC. Yeah, that's, I mean, I think that that's perfectly reasonable. People, especially Mac users, do not want to use Windows. There are many, many reasons to not want to use Windows. Not the least of which is that it's ugly and broken and doesn't do what you want it to do. It gets in your way and it prevents you from doing your work. This is turning into an anti-Windows rant again. And if you look at the net market share stats, you can see that, uh, Linux picked up what macOS lost this month, or approximately. But whatever the reason, I mean, we're seeing an all-time high for Linux usage uh, on the web. And I think that's really awesome. And if you click on the desktop versions on the left side of this page, you can actually see uh, that Ubuntu is far and away the most popular Linux distribution out there. It is... It's staggering how, how popular Ubuntu still is. And if you look at the numbers, I mean, the last few months for Ubuntu have been meteoric, relatively speaking. I mean, for all we know, these numbers could reflect a, a change in how user agent strings are being parsed by net market share. Who knows? I mean, really. But the fact is, Ubuntu is the most popular distro out there. What's interesting to me is that Manjaro or Arch, for that matter, are not on this list. Uh, they probably fall into the... Uh, Linux catch-all category on this list. I mean, it's weird because if you look at the Steam hardware survey, the most popular distros are uh, the two uh, Ubuntu LTS releases, uh, Arch, Manjaro, and then uh, Linux Mint. And on this list, you have Fedora, which has 0.00% market share. Uh, but Manjaro, Arch are not on this list. I don't know. It's just kind of strange to me. 
So where does this put us as a community? Well, Linux market share is at 3.61% uh, globally. That's an all time high for us. It's still pretty small, but when you compare the number of people that they're probably uh, surveying here, that's a significant number. That's compared to 9.2% for macOS and just under 87% for Windows. Still, that's an impressive number. And I think that it's going to continue to grow. I've been saying this for a while, but we're approaching critical mass. We're almost there, I think, as a community. What's interesting is when you compare these numbers to other numbers that we have. Uh, the June 2020 Steam Hardware Survey said that there was 0.88% uh, of all Steam users were using Linux. That's a significantly smaller number than 3% or nearly 4%. Ubuntu 20.04 and 1804 are making up the largest user base and Windows making up 96% <laughs> with macOS filling in the rest. That's weird, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know where this video is going. Let me know what you think about this. I mean, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on the importance of these numbers. Do you think that we're approaching critical mass as a community? Do you think that Linux will eventually become the default desktop operating system? I do. Let me know. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. I want to thank everybody over on Patreon, including Webfreak, one of my top tier Singularity supporters. Webfreak, my dude, your support is truly appreciated. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show along with the rest of these guys over on Patreon. I also have LibrePay if you're not a fan of Patreon. Well, that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy these videos. I'm sorry that they've been a little bit shorter than my normal fare. Uh, it takes about mm, six hours to upload a short video like this from my current internet situation. So uh, I've been making shorter videos out of necessity. Uh, pretty soon I'll be getting fiber optic, hopefully. Uh, then I will return to the normal length videos. But until then, thank you for watching. I appreciate your guys' support. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you later.